Hey guys, it's been a while. This tank was originally meant for conditioning cardinal tetras. And I don't use a filter or do water changes, so it's pretty dirty. About two weeks ago, I tried breeding them again, but it was a disaster. Six died and only these four survived. Even though I used 100% tap water that had been sitting for a week. And should have had no chlorine, I have no idea what went wrong. It was a real blow, so I've decided not to use all new water for breeding anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna test out whether the original tank water, can support Neon Tetra breeding. So I'm gonna give it a try and let the Cardinals rest in their old tank for a while. Let's scrape the tank. Although it's dirty, at least the fish are happy. These are all green algae, let's suck them all out. That's about it. Let's put in our old friend, the isolation box. And let's throw in some water lilies to provide a safe environment for them. Around 11 p.m. at night, while they were sleeping, I caught two males and three females.
Catching fish at night is great, as they quickly adapt to the new environment. I plan to follow the same approach as last time, when breeding the cardinal tetras. By keeping the monitoring light on. But I was disappointed that they didn't lay eggs the next morning. However, they seemed to be doing well and didn't even seem afraid when I approached. They were fighting with each other, but I didn't witness the moment they laid eggs. However, when I went to check again around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I saw that the bottom was covered in eggs. Although it's just neon tetra eggs, I haven't successfully received any fish eggs for a long time, so I'm still very excited. These female fish are so fat that even under stress, they can lay eggs by themselves. I will put them back in the original tank. We collected the fish eggs into a bowl as usual. Under the sunlight, we can see that the shiny ones are mostly fertilized. I divided them into two containers filled with clean water, and waited for them to hatch. However, not all of the eggs would hatch in the container. In less than half an hour after I put them in, many of the eggs turned white. To ensure the health of the remaining eggs, we had to remove the white ones as soon as possible. These are the white eggs that I picked out. On the third afternoon, they hatched. And I think the hatching rate was decent much better than last time. It proves that old water can also breed neon tetras. As long as we collect the fish eggs and hatch them in clean water,
next time, i plan to use old water to breed cardinal tetras.